guys. <laughs> that was so funny. Hey, hey guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. <laughs> I wanted to say I wanted that. To say Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. It's 2018. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year! This is our first video of 2018. And we've been reading your comments and noticing that some of you want us to do a specific like, video. Like one person asked if we can make a video about how we met. So uh, we thought today's the day. So you wanted to record the video outside, but in case you're following our social media already, you know that today there is a snowstorm in New York. The snow is crazy, the wind is crazy, so we just came back inside. So in case you have no idea who we are... I'm Jos. I'm Yanni. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Germany. So you probably think we met in Mexico. Or in Germany. But we actually met in... Los Angeles. Oh. LA bound. You probably know already that we are both hip hop dancers. And in 2012 we both went to LA to take dance classes. As you can see here. This is the outcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I learned. But we were staying in different houses and we were taking different classes. So we didn't know that the other one existed. So one day, friends of mine invited me to a house party. And my housemate also invited me to a house party. Which was the, the same, same party. <laughs> yeah. When I arrived, I didn't know anyone. I felt anxious. I didn't want to go. Right away, my housemate met someone else and he just left me there on my own. And I was like, no. What so am I gonna sad. do now? So I was super anxious. I sat down on the corner with this Japanese girl that was super nice to me. And then I saw that a few seats next to us, there was this guy talking to a very sexy girl. Yeah, you were talking to a sexy girl. You were talking to a very sexy girl. So of course I was super insecure and weird. And I still remember, I still remember the first time I saw you, I was like, whoa. I really thought like this is one of the most handsome guys I've ever seen in my life. But I also thought since he was talking to this sexy girl, I thought, yeah, he's probably not nice. <laughs> I thought you were super cocky, super full of yourself. I was like, no, out of my league. I didn't even see her sitting there. <laughs> I was looking the other way. Yeah, you were looking at the boobs from the girl that was next to you. Yeah, yeah. That's what we were doing. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, what we were sure. doing. You're such a liar. So whatever, I started talking to more people. I became super confident. Somehow, by the middle of the night, I was feeling so secure, so confident on myself. I was like, yeah. I'm making so many friends here and there. And I decided to go up to him. I was with a friend of mine, which happened to be also a friend of hers. And suddenly she was standing in front of me and I was thinking, dang. She's short. Not tall. But she also had the sweetest smile. Oh. <laughs> Keep saying more and more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so she said hi, I said hi, and then we started talking. I don't remember much of the conversation, but I definitely remember that she talked like a waterfall. I talk like a waterfall. Yeah, it just keeps going and going and going. It never stops. <laughs> but it was super fun. We were laughing a lot. We had like this crazy chemistry from the beginning. And I was super impressed because I thought he was super cocky and full but of I himself. But I wasn't. And he was so nice. And I was like, whoa. So after a very long time of her talking to me. <laughs> of us talking. <laughs> of us talking. We made the plan to meet the next day to take the same dance class. The problem is... <laughs> I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really liked you. I found you super attractive, but I didn't think it was like a date. It wasn't a date. It was just, yeah, let's take the same class together. I don't know. I just didn't go. <laughs> she chickened out. No, I didn't chicken out. There was just another class that interests me more than him. <laughs> that was more interesting than me. Tell Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, you're so dumb. But within the next couple of weeks... You we, texted me! We met a couple of times. One time we went to the beach with friends of ours. Again, she talked a lot, like with no pause. And at one point I told her, I don't believe that you can be quiet for five minutes. <laughs> can you believe that? I was so sad and angry and I stopped talking for like an she hour. She stopped talking completely. An hour. And he an was like... An hour? No. Yeah, it, was it was super probably, long. Probably 15 minutes. No. But then... And he was begging me like, please talk to me again, please. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't expect her to be so good with no talking. See? Okay, and then one day we also met at IHOP, for example. I waited there and she was super late. She arrived, I don't know, 20. Up, 20 minutes late. Then we went inside, we ordered our food and then she remembered that she had a date I... with another German guy at the same time. No, it wasn't at the same time. Okay, it, half it an like... hour later. <laughs> yeah, it was like an hour after years. 
So <laughs> we took our food and then we left. The thing is that every time that we were spending together, it felt so good and the chemistry was insane. So I was always wondering if he actually liked me just as a friend. You know that feeling, right? When you're like, oh, where are we, you know? Uh -huh. So I didn't know if he saw me as a friend or if he saw me as anything else. But I was definitely starting to have a real, like, I had a crush on him. I didn't tell him though. I was too scared of telling him because, yeah. The thing about me is, I'm the worst at realizing that someone is into me. And she didn't <laughs> say a word, so I had no idea that she had a crush on me. I liked her a lot. Like, it was a lot of fun with her. I know where this is going, uh huh? <laughs> but in that time, I was not available on the market. And I only saw her as a very, very good friend. <laughs> <laughs> So he didn't really have an idea that I was into him. We were just friends. And one day before he went back to Germany, we were talking normally and he mentioned something about his girlfriend. He said something like, oh, blah, 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 my girlfriend. And I was like, you're what? <laughs> I just didn't know. I didn't ask either. We just never, we talked, never talked about it. After that, I, I was like heartbroken, probably for like 10 minutes. And after that... <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes, okay, no. bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she went to the other German guy. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, I felt bad, but I wasn't expecting him to like me back. I got over it. I wasn't in love or anything like that. I went back to Mexico and it wasn't even like a bad goodbye. It was just like, have a nice day. <laughs> Peace out. See you. Like both of us were not in love or anything. I was just more into you. <laughs> Whoa, the snowflakes. Whoa, the storm is crazy, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... That means the next two years we didn't have much contact. We Skyped sometimes. Yeah, and I remember every time I saw him again after six months of not seeing him, like on Skype, I was like, damn. Fast forward two years. On 2014, I decided to go to Germany to Urban Dance Camp. I knew she was coming to Urban Dance Camp. I was going there too. Yeah. I was excited to see him again, but I wasn't expecting anything from it. And I was super excited because I was on the market. <laughs> and when I finally saw her again after two years, I was like, dang, she's short. <laughs> Not tall. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Still a shorty, nothing has changed, but she was very beautiful. I was attracted to her, I had a crush on her. So, <laughs> yes! get over yourself, okay. <laughs> we had a great chemistry, but, and there was a big but, <laughs> big but, that she was living in Mexico, I was living in Germany, so of course uh, we didn't have any expectations of anything to happen. So after UDC, I went back to Mexico, he, he stayed in Germany and we just stayed in touch. We started talking on Skype again. And then we decided after a while, okay, let's just do it. Let's try it, yeah, let's what, try it. why are we wasting our time, you know? And that's how it all started. Okay, so guys. Hi. That was our story of how we met. Guys, that was our love story. We hope you liked it. If you've been with us from the beginning, we love you guys. And if you're new to our channel, we love you too. And uh, nos vemos en la próxima semana. Bis nächste Woche. Tschüss. Adios, muchachos.